Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from World Boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, bam. I told you, right? Manny Pacquiao beats Keith Thurman, right? And we had a little stuff going on with the drug testing before, right? Even though they were drug tested now. But, you know, we wasn't having that. What Vada was, you know, about a month before the fight. Remember we were talking about it? And uh, so, you know, Manny Pacquiao was getting his first critics. Are coming out talking about, hey, you know, that's probably the reason why he's looking so good at 40 years old. See, that's what happens when you just, just don't do that, you know, year-round Vada testing thing that we were having before all the fights. You know, this one is a little bit different. I don't even want to get into it. Didn't even look into it again. But back then, I was like, why have that shadow over the fight? There could be something, if you know. Because even Keith Thurman was like, I don't care what he's taking. It don't matter, this and that. Well, it comes back to haunt you. Some of the critics are saying, you know, that it's because of uh, the doping, right? Or insinuating it. I hear it's going down on Twitter and, and stuff like that. You know, y'all know I don't roll on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. But I'm just saying, I know that it exists, and I know what's good that's going down, and then people are saying some things. Now I'm hearing about it, right? Um, but we gotta leave it alone. It is what it is. If if that's if that's the case or not. Now I'm saying, you know, some people like a Ted Lake Teddy Atlas, for example, right? And Teddy Atlas, you know, Teddy Atlas came out straight up. He said, "Hey, man, you know, some people look, you know, like a good car. This dude looking like a Ferrari at 40, right?" And he said, "You can you can look good, but what kind of gas you using?" <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What kind of fuel are you using? So he come out pretty direct in his opinion about what can happen. And I know, you know, when you say something special about Pacquiao, so, you know, sometimes, you know, these, you know, people get behind their fighters so much. You say something like that, you know, people going to be upset. Hey, Freddie, uh, not Freddie Roach, but uh, your boy Teddy Atlas might have something against Pacquiao, right? Freddie Roach, you agree with him or disagree with him, but you know you probably can't really never say that it's not coming from a good place with this man. You know, he goes off on a, a few things. He says that he just been going off about, for example, Canelo's franchise belt, right? That they gave him a belt. He told you straight up, it's, it's just that people are working together and paying each other. And they gave him the franchise belt till we don't have to fight Charlo. Simple as that. You know, he'll tell you some stuff, whether you agree with him or not. Right. He said things before. Now, I've, I've heard of a video. I didn't get a chance to watch it. But you going in on the WBC about not giving Dilly and White. A shot by now, right? Now, I haven't looked at the video, so I don't know, but when you talk about dealing white getting a shot with WBC, you're going to have to mention Luis Ortiz if, if I'm around, right? If you can't get around Luis Ortiz, then we can talk further, right? But that's the thing. You, but the guy comes out, and you know, when you start speaking against the establishment, you'll have problems with keeping your job. And he does, because he's just he's going to tell you what it is, and he doesn't, he loves his boxing sport. And doesn't like the corruption in it. He calls for an arbitrary company or organization to look oversee the thing. He's been calling for it for forever, right? So this is not new for a Teddy Atlas to be uh, putting up those question marks when it's time to put up question marks. He does it all the time. Another one would be Paulie Malinaji, who's been saying things all the time. Paulie Malinaji <laughs> better can get a job. He always, you know, because he's going to say what time it is. Sometimes, you know, people would think, oh, it's bad, you know, but he's speaking, it's coming from a good, um, a good place. You know, when you disagree and it's coming from a good place, then it's coming from a good place, right? And that, and that that's, you can disagree. Just when it starts getting tribal and starts, you having bad reasons why you're, you're following someone, that's when it becomes a problem. You know, and I got to give props to my brother's man about the Pacquiao Thurman fight. You know, a lot of, I mean, shoot, most of my favorite uploaders. Straight up, you know, hey, Pacquiao won the fight. And even though I disagree with him, I know it's coming from a good place. Ain't no brothers, you know, like, hey, you know, we're going for Thurman because he's black. You know, brothers don't do that. They, they watching, fighting, and whatever is, it is, whatever, right? When something goes down that's incorrect or unjust, then you call that out. That's what it is. A lot of people think, you know, Pacquiao won the fight. I think Keith, Keith Thurman won it with the knockdown by one point. Explain to you why in my last vid, right? It is what it is. I just, you know, but it was close, close fight. But I think, you know, like I said before, he had landed more punches, he landed more power punches, and his percentages of punches landed were higher. Was higher. What else you got to do? Well, the bottom line is, ain't nobody screaming when you hitting the guy. 
But we have to go back to that. Ain't nobody screaming when you're hitting. That's why they didn't register it. Right? And I keep saying, you know, judges have to be there. It must can't hear nothing. Period. That's how it should be. But whatever. You don't want to get into it because the fight was so close that, you know, either way, you know, it's not a big deal. But um, here's something. Pacquiao wins the fight. Pacquiao's now number three pound for pound. Right? Number one. Uh, it, and, and this is just WBN's list. Don't worry. It, it, it's ridiculous in my opinion. But Can Canelo Alvarez, number one. Lomachenko, number two. And Manny Pacquiao would just pass, just pass Terrence Crawford like he didn't, you know, he didn't do nothing. Right? You know, Pacquiao, you just lost to Jeff Horn not too long ago. But he's number three in their power, power list. And, you know, the funny thing about it, it's not bad. First of all, you ain't supposed to pass Crawford. Matter of fact, nobody's supposed to pass Crawford. Let's get that out. Canelo won't even fight uh, Dimitri Andre to become undisputed. But ain't, ain't the guy, the franchise champion, don't even have to fight Jamal Charlo. How do you be the best in the division without fighting those two guys? But whatever. Right? And not in the division, in the world. Whatever. Lomachenko, good fighter. Ooh, he moves, this and that. Yeah, I know, but you lost to Salido. Period. Salido was at 13 losses at the time. You shouldn't be in front of Terrence Crawford. This period. Not in front of Terrence Crawford. That's to be the rule of the pound for pound to somebody do something different. But okay. Or maybe Alexander Ozick. Ozick. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but okay. You know, then you get to Pacquiao. My point is, Pacquiao just had a nice run. Lucas Matisse. Adrian Broner. Close fight. And then Keith Thurman. Right? But here's the point with that. Where was Keith Thurman? Before the fight. Did you ever see him in the power for power list? Like ever? Do you see what I'm saying? That, that, that's the point. Where is Keith Thurman? How do you keep... If you can't, you, you'll have to put Keith Thurman at five. And then Pacquiao beats him. And then he can go to three. But if you ain't going to put the brother where he's supposed to belong. Right? He's somewhere dangling. And who knows what Keith Thurman was? He wasn't in the top ten. Fifteen either, probably. You see what I'm saying? So why is it... You know, see Now, but it's very important after you beat him. See, that happened all the time. Now, oh, you beat Thurman. Oh, now you can go to number three. Thurman beat Pacquiao. He ain't going nowhere. Probably wouldn't even reach the top ten. That is a little issue with that. Now, I don't want to get into the pound pound list. It's just ridiculous, though, right? <laughs> I would like to say what it is, but you know, count the top 20, right? Go to WB and look at their top 10 and count how many, whatever, in the top 20. And you can tell what time it is. I ain't going to go there right now. Bottom line is. But anyway, let's get on back to Pacquiao. Man, listen. Pacquiao had a good fight, you know what I mean? Pacquiao looked good, and I, I'm glad that the community, everybody, you know, was up on it. Pacquiao looked good in the fight. He did, but, you know, the problem I have is just so did Keith Thurman, right? And everybody's all happy because Keith Thurman takes the high road, and, you know, hey, he's very respectful and, and, and his loss and, and all that. Yeah, that sits well with everybody. You know, when it wouldn't have set well when you say, hold up, man. You know, shoot, man, I pointed too. I scored too. We both lumped up in here, you know what I mean? I landed some good stuff, too. He was back against the ropes a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Oh, everybody talking about, oh, Keith Thurman got hit with a body blow. Yeah. I was in a fight with one of the best of all time. Why wouldn't I get hit with a body blow? So I got hit with a body blow with Pacquiao, and I was down. Right? But I was, you know, so he got hit with luck. When he kept backing up against the ropes because he was hit with something that put him back against the ropes, we just, the crowd didn't go off. They're not trying to see that. And that's what people really have to, you know, that's why you, some people say, oh, well, watch fights with, without sound and stuff like that. You know, you don't really want to do that. But, you know, after you start watching for a while, you just say, man, I ain't trying to hear what they say. I told y'all in a heartbeat, I'll watch a fight if it's the name in Russian. I wouldn't, I don't care anymore because you're just watching it for what you see. You know what I mean? But um, I kind of just hope this goes away with the doping thing. I just, I just saw an article about it. And a couple of people, you know, giving their opinions. And I do know that uh, Twitter is going on about, um, you know, people thinking that could be the reason why. And that's a little uh, undertone that I was telling you about. They didn't really want that. Pack out look good, period. If things come up and something, you know, get caught or something, then okay. But we can't just keep alleging that someone is doing something. I mean, we know what was up in 2009 with Floyd Mayweather. That's a different story. I'll tell you how I felt about that right? <laughs> at that particular time. But at this particular time right now, who knows if he's up to something like that. Um, Keith Thurman is saying he doesn't feel he, he was. And a few others are saying he doesn't feel he was. And, it, you know, they did some type of testing. Guys, I don't want to exactly say what kind because I didn't research it again. 
what I'm just saying is they've done some type of testing before the before the fight. And I think everybody involved was okay with it. So damn it, he wasn't dope for the fight. And he looked good. 40 year old dude handling his business against Keith Thurman. Until otherwise. Right? Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.